In this video, we are discussing example problem 6.8. Uh, definitely check out the previous videos where we've discussed the basic idea behind um, optical activity, chirality, and all of those things. And definitely let me know if there is a specific topic or a question that you need help with. Example 6.8. Identify chiral and achiral molecules in each of the following pairs of compounds. So chiral molecule is the one which has a carbon atom with different with different um, with four different substituents. So essentially, the ones the carbon atoms which have a different substituent are, is going to be chiral. And the one which does not have different substituents is going to be achiral. So here, the first, first of all, you have a carbon atom here, and this is the second carbon atom. Uh, same over here. However, if you notice, this carbon atom has three hydrogen atoms attached to it, so it has the same substituent. So it is not chiral. Whereas this one, this carbon atom, has a hydrogen, a methyl group, a bromine atom attached to it, and a hydroxyl group. All of these are different. So this is a chiral molecule. So this is a chiral carbon, and so this molecule is chiral. Now, however, in this case, it has two bromine atoms attached to it, which means it has the same substituent, which means this particular molecule is achiral. That's it. Super simple, right? Uh, the second one over here, you have hydrogen and hydroxyl group. And this particular carbon atom is attached to a methyl group and then a propyl group. In this case, however, you have two ethyl groups attached to this particular carbon atom, a hydrogen and a hydroxyl group. So this particular carbon atom is achiral and this molecule is achiral and this one is chiral. Honestly, if you find it easier to just write the structure out and try and figure out, that's perfectly fine. Um, as long as you, you know, understand how to draw those structures, you should be good. The next example, the last one is uh, this particular one. Here you have this carbon atom is attached to an ethyl group a methyl group, bromine, and a hydrogen atom. However, this particular carbon atom, all of these are attached to two hydrogen and three hydrogen atoms each, so they're not going to be chiral. This one, you have two hydrogen atoms and a bromine, bromine atom, so this is not going to be chiral because it has the same substituent. Here, this particular carbon has a methyl, ethyl, bromine, and hydrogen, so it's going to be chiral. So this is chiral. This is going to be achiral. That's it. Super simple, right? So with that, we're done with this particular example problem. In the next video, we are going to be talking about retention of the configuration.